Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. It's almost 5.30 a.m. East Coast time. Tried to sleep earlier, but uh, just kind of got that sixth sense that I shouldn't be sleeping. And whenever I get that little whisper in my ear throughout life and I haven't listened to it, well, there's been some kind of hell to pay somewhere. And I don't want to freak anybody out or anything like that, but anyway... uh, I'm just going to give a heads up on uh, this earthquake deal for the West Coast. Okay, I want to explain something. This is just the last 24 hours. Now, you see these swarms here? Note the sizes. Okay, I've been watching this globe ever since I was living in Cali and Fukushima blew up. And I've watched the Ring of Fire. And these patterns were coming around the Ring of Fire and skipping over the west coast but the swarms were not in the four and five magnitude or even high threes they were all low twos a year ago and I've seen this pattern keep going around the ring of fire and each time it does it's more severe and more occurrences Um, in the last year that I've watched this and I don't watch it every day uh, you know uh, but I watch it quite often, uh, at least every week, uh, more, sometimes more, depending on what's going on. I haven't seen this severity. And I know that at least three times, by watching the pattern travel around the Ring of Fire, and then it would skip over the West Coast and continue back around. In the last year, it's done that three or four times. Um I just have a funny feeling that it's not going to skip over the West Coast this time. And again, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a geologist. I'm just a guy. Okay. But I can tell you that that sixth sense that I have right now, also years ago when I was dealing pot, saved me from selling to an informant who had a wire. It saved me a lot of different times. Okay. And uh, I'm certainly not going to uh, be like Terrell 3 and tell you to go run to a fucking cave or anything like that. Um, but I do want the West Coast people to be on the heads up. You can see there's a little activity. This is nothing to even consider. But I just got a funny feeling, folks, and, and maybe it doesn't even have anything to do with the earthquakes. But uh, this is just 24 hours, okay? And we know the Cascadia is overdue. And I also want to point out that just, uh, well, I don't know, two weeks ago, we had a guest on Jesus on the Main Line who's a very faithful woman living in the Portland, Oregon area that, you know, had a vision that uh, Portland was going to get struck with a major catastrophe. And she believed in it so much that... uh, she believed that she had to leave the area, and she did. Okay, she went down to Honduras, I believe, or Mexico. Uh, the point of the matter is, is, is that, you know, I can't give you any science. I can't give you a link. I can't give you any facts. But I can give you my gut feeling. And uh, if you're on the West Coast, uh, hey, wouldn't hurt to put a backpack of clothes and food in your car and keep it there for the next week would it wouldn't hurt to kind of check things out be aware of what's going on around you uh know what your escape route is know what your resources are that kind of stuff so anyway i don't know what it's worth i don't i can't tell you to do any certain thing but be on your toes do a little something if you're one of those people that Hasn't done a damn thing. Throw a bag of food in the car, man. Throw a bag of clothes for, you know, your kids or your spouse or whatever. Just keep it in the trunk. What's the big deal? Take you ten minutes to do something like that. Could save your ass. While we're here, might as well go show you what the entire week looked like. Okay. This was the last week on planet Earth. Let me tell you something, I've been watching this for a year, folks. One year ago today, there were half as many earthquakes. I know, I've been watching this. I don't need a degree to count numbers, 
see patterns. I'm a carpenter, okay? Numbers come quick to me. Patterns come quick to me. I've been in the trade since I was 12 years old, so this this is nothing. This is This is like a fun little game, except it isn't a game. People's lives are at stake, and, you know, if all you had to do was keep your tank full, keep your keys in your pocket, and have a bag of clothes in your car, and maybe a bag of food, well, that's about all I can give you, but big heads up. Big heads up. Much love. Be safe. And don't freak out. Because really, again, I'm just a stupid carpenter.